guys, it's Game Ramer here. So today I have another episode in this series where I take you along with me on my collecting journey, trying to show how I go out there and game hunt, trying to find those deals, trying to turn a profit along the way so that I have more money to put into the video game collection. So everything that you see behind me, this is how I have been actually collecting video games for quite some time and I have found some amazing items some games that are worth over hundreds of dollars for only a fraction of the price. So today we have another episode, so let's go ahead and see what I found. So it has actually been a little bit of time since I've done one of these episodes and there is a good reason for that. So because of the Too Many Games video game convention that had actually just passed, I was out there trying to go ahead and quickly flip separately with a buddy of mine so that we would have some money to spend at this video game convention. So that was actually in a whole different thing. I didn't want to include it in this series. And then of course there are so many projects going on around the game room. I'm trying to really transform this place, get some things framed, get some things up on the wall, go ahead and shift some things around so that I have more space for this little series that I'm doing. So of course, this past few weeks out there hunting, I actually scored a decent amount. So in the following weeks to come, you will see some pretty amazing items. So to quickly go ahead and recap, as it's been a while since I did one of these actual videos in the series, we had about $225 left over that week that I bought that Nintendo 64 little bundle and then that Xbox 360 bundle. So with actually spending that much money, we were down to about $155. So I knew that I had to sell the Nintendo 64, sell the Xbox 360 so that I can go ahead and turn that money around and hopefully make a decent profit. So I bought that Nintendo 64 for about $30 and I ended up selling it for $90. So that added a little bit to the game fund. And then I decided to sell that Xbox 360 bundle that I had, the one that I scored for about 40 bucks or so. I decided to sell that for about 80 bucks. So with only having $155, adding the 90, adding the 80, we have about $325 coming into this week. So we had a decent amount to go out there and spend. And I actually went to the thrift store and I found some pretty decent items that I know I can at least double my money on. So we'll go ahead and check those out. So first of all, I was very excited because it has been a while since I found some items at the thrift store. I have not been getting as lucky on Facebook Marketplace, and each time I message someone, the item has already sold. So I do find that to be a big thing that happens, especially around this area. There is a lot of competition out there for people who are doing the same thing and just adding more items to their video game collections. So I went into this thrift store, and they had this Xbox 360 system for sale, and I decided to take a chance with it. So it did have some of the wires with it, but I need to find a controller for it. So this was listed for $24.24. So we'll go ahead and actually round up. It does have this hard drive on it. And I'm not even sure if this thing works, but I decided to take a chance because for about $25, bucks, you can not beat that as I'm hoping that I can get some games bundled together and maybe find some in the upcoming weeks and hopefully find a controller so that I could potentially bundle this thing for sale. So fingers crossed that this thing actually works. So we took about $25 from what we were actually starting with and it didn't stop there because right down the same aisle I actually saw this system right here. We have this PlayStation 2. It comes with this memory card. It does come with two controllers and the cables. This was also listed for $24.24, so this was actually really cool, and I did already test this one since it had everything together. This thing does work. It reads games pretty well, and of course it came with some extras. So here we have this controller with it, and then we even have this blue controller with it. 
This is the Dual Force 2 Mad Cats. So this thing is already ready to go, so I just needed some games. So spending about 50 bucks on each of the systems here with the controller, some of the cables, and everything else. So now we get into some of the games this week, and then I'll go ahead and say how much I spent on everything because there was a sale running. So even though some of these are sports titles, I figured that they would help sell this system in a little bundle, and everything was so inexpensive, about a dollar each on these games, so I figured I'd just add them and see what happens. So here we have this Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2001 game, very clean disc for the PlayStation 2. We have this NASCAR 07 game for the PlayStation 2. We have Strike Force Bowling. Beach Volleyball, we have Summer Heat. Super Trucks Racing. Copy of Stuntman for the PlayStation 2. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. And then we have this for the PlayStation 2, SOCOM 2. This is US Navy SEALs. So all of these, plus some of the other duplicate PS2 games that I already have throughout this series, some of the doubles that I have that I don't need to put on this wall behind me, I'm going to bundle with this system and hopefully get it posted for sale. So I'm hoping that within the next couple weeks this thing will actually sell. I can go ahead and at least triple or quadruple my profits here on this system, and then it'll pay for pretty much everything that I spent. So then there are some more games that I found. So I found some Wii games. Sadly, I did not find a Wii system. But here we have Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2010. We have this Hannah Montana game, the movie. We have Pet Dogs 2. This copy of Nerf and Strike. This copy of Just Dance 3. And I did notice that this one actually had this bonus disc in it, we have Just Dance 4, as there was no game case, so it had both of these games inside. So that'll definitely be helpful when I go to bundle a Wii system that I find in the future. Then a couple more Wii games. These ones I did not have in the collection. We have this Build-A-Bear Workshop, A Friend for All Seasons. This copy of Smarty Pants, Trivia Fun for Everyone. 30 Great Games Family Party. This copy of Sim Animals, which actually looks pretty interesting. And then we have this random Xbox game. We have Max Payne. So this is also complete, and everything looks to be very clean. So that'll just go in the little series and hopefully some of these duplicate items I can go ahead and bundle in the future. So all of this stuff together, I spent 25 on the Xbox 360 system, 25 on the PS2 system, and we had about 18 games or so, so we'll just round up to about 20 bucks. So of course, when you go ahead and subtract the $70 from the 325, we have about $255 going into next week. And I'm very thrilled because now I can kind of get back in this little motion of hitting some thrift stores, selling some of these items, and just adding more stuff in the video game collection. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. Do you guys think I can make a decent profit on that PlayStation 2 Slim model? What do you guys think about this? Have you guys also had a little bit of a dry spell on your Facebook Marketplace scores? I've noticed that things have gotten a little bit more difficult. Not sure if people are actually out there donating as many items. Maybe around the holidays we'll find some more stuff out there. Just let me know in the comments below and let me know what you guys would like to see in the future. So of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.